All right. Hey, guys. So today we have with us here our chairman, elder, uncle, Daniel Yeo. And I don't know his Chinese name. But, and we, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy here. So I think the first question we all as a church want to know, and it's the most important question is, how are your fishes doing right now? <laughs> well, the fishes is, are doing very well. The colors are vibrant. <laughs> And I hope that uh, my spiritual life is as uh, vibrant <laughs> as the colors of the fishes. Okay, good. I mean, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, why don't you tell us a bit, a, a bit about yourself? How long have you been serving in PGAFC? Well, I've been uh, serving in PGAFC for the past 27 years on the board. First as a deacon and secretary of the board, and then to, uh, elected as uh, the uh, elder and I've been chairman of the church for the last uh, 18 years before I took a break and then th thereafter I resumed two years ago yep. as chairman of the church. Yeah. So coming back as a chairman, um, how would you summarize 2013 and 2014 for us? Well, 2013 was a year of transition. I think uh, people were scattered in in different directions, so we had to bring them back together. Yep. And I would think that that is a mm. year of consolidation. Mm. Yep. That's what uh, 2013 was all about. Yeah. So what about 2014? 2014, I think the uh, church board and the pastors got together and we said uh, we must go beyond consolidation. And therefore we came up with the theme, BIGC building intergenerational church yep. and that to me means integration yeah. of all generations everybody working together yeah and um looking back at this year do you feel that we have accomplished that that we've we've become an intergenerational church yeah i see many positive signs i see the uh, young helping the old and uh, I talk to quite a number of young people and they have no problems talking to me and I see that uh, the, old, uh, the seniors are in fact very happy with the way the young have uh, treated them and uh, integrated with them and we see this in all the uh, events that yep. is held by the church, yep. you know, in uh, Easter, in uh, Christmas. Yep. Yep. I mean, I have to agree with you because uh, looking back at sports even, we have all the uncles, I think they play some of them play better than us. And that's also one really good ministry that has helped this year, I think. Yeah. Um, so what are some of your highlights for 2014 that you can remember? 2014? Yeah, I would think that uh, looking from the perspective of the church, I think it was more, well, we had the family day. That's something uh, <coughs> we had uh, neglected for many years. Yeah. And uh, I'm so glad that mm. uh, we could see the participation of all the cell groups, mm. the uncles, aunties, the young. And uh, it was real, a real joy to see all the people coming together and bringing their friends to yeah. this church. Yeah. yeah. So this whole year we've had uh, two new people on board, uh, Pastor Alexa and Pastor Melissa. Um, do, you, do you believe that that has changed at all the landscape of um, PGFC's leadership? Oh yeah, I would think that they are a positive uh, to the church. I mean, they bring uh, a feminine touch <laughs> to the leadership, into all ministries. Mm -hmm. uh, they have provided a lot of energy yep. into our ministry and into <laughs> our church. Yep. And uh, I would think that uh, truly they are a real blessing. Yep. And the uh, last one about 2014, is there anything that you believe that we could have done better if we could have done 2014 again? Well, if there's one thing that struck me in 2014 is that uh, we could have been better coordinated in all our ministries, in our events, in our direction. We could have been more concerted. And I think uh, in 2015, <coughs> we would like to remedy this and see yep. all <coughs> ministries pulling together in one direction. Great. Okay, so now that you brought up 2015, what, what can the church look forward to in 2015? What is the vision and the theme? Well, to look forward, I like to look backward. Number one, uh, two years ago, like I say, we were in the phase of consolidation. Then thereafter, we uh, 
had integration, BIGC. And I would think that in 2015, I'm excited because it's a year of invasion in inverted commerce. It means that we are reaching out to the community. Mm. We are going to uh, do what our Lord Jesus did. Yep. Uh, incarnational ministries that uh, as the Father sent him into this earth, so we will be sent. We, he is sending us to reach out to the community, and that's exciting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, how did, how did the church leadership get to this invasion theme? Well, I guess uh, it's all uncoordinated, <laughs> but we can see a divine thread there. Because mm. in, on 18 March 2014, I wrote to the board <laughs> and the pastors, and I shared with them the deep conviction in my heart that God is doing something new. But I said that I couldn't flesh it out. I do not know what, but it's something not only to bless the church, but to build up the nation. Mm. And I said that it was not only for this generation, but it's also for the generation to come. And I believe that uh, God mm. answered what he has put in my heart, because in June 2014, we received a letter from the authorities to uh, say that our, our building use has been converted to religious wow. and that our building <coughs> is to be used as a church. That really opens up an entirely new phase of uh, ministry for yeah. the church. <coughs> yeah. uh, reaching out, uh, going beyond the four walls of this church. Yeah, yeah. It's good. So, um, coming to this whole topic of evangelism for next year, are there specific ways and methods that we have uh, prepared for the church? I mean, we have so many um, surrounding colleges, so many surrounding new buildings coming up. How, how do you think our church can participate in this evangelism? I think we have to be uh, quite intentional about it. Yep. We uh, truly have to make efforts to uh, reach out. Uh, I would think that uh, as we have that heart to uh, reaching out to the people here, the community here, God will provide us with the uh, avenues, the vehicles yeah. to do that. And I believe that uh, one of the ways is our cafe, if it is uh, set up in the second half of the year, mm -hmm. that will be a good attraction. Yep. And of course, we can also market our gym more, our sports complex, yep. and uh, bring the people in. Uh, Uncle Daniel, is there any last things that you want to say to the church to look forward to 2015? Well, I would want to say that uh, I have a great uh, confidence. 2015 holds great promise. And uh, I can't wait to step into 2015. And I want to say to God, bring it on, Lord, because we want to really engage the people in 2015. Yeah, amen. All right, so thank you so much, Uncle Daniel, for your time. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah. We'll look forward to 2015. A lot of interesting things happening. All right, thank, thank you. you.